welcome to part 2 of conversion of metric units. This time, we'll deal with conversion of measures about time and temperature. For the measures of time, the standard unit is seconds. The table below shows the units in measuring time and their equivalents. 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute. 60 minutes equals 1 hour. 24 hours for 1 day. 7 days in 1 week. 4 weeks in a month. 12 months in a year. 365 days means 1 year. 10 years equals 1 decade. 20 years equals 1 score. 100 years means 1 century, and 1,000 years means 1 millennium. So how do we convert time units? Units of time can be changed to equivalent units. To change from smaller unit to a larger unit, we need to divide. And from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we need to multiply. So kailangan alam natin kung smaller to larger ba yung kinoconvert natin para appropriate din yung operation na gagamitin natin. So let's have an example. Convert 3.5 hours to minutes. So hours to minutes means larger unit to smaller unit. Kasi mas mahaba naman talaga yung oras compare sa minutes. So larger two smaller units, we'll be using multiplication here. So, 3.5 hours, 2 minutes. Alin dito ang pwede natin gamitin? We can have this 60 minutes in 1 hour. So, multiply that. We can have 3.5 times 60. That will give us 210. So, there are 210 minutes in 3.5 hours. Next, convert 5 weeks to minutes. So we know that weeks is larger or longer than minutes. So this is larger to smaller units. But we do not have a direct conversion from weeks to minutes. Kailangan muna yung weeks ay convert muna natin into a smaller unit which is days, and then days into hours, hours into minutes to be able to convert it properly. So let's start with five weeks, and then compare with a day, day and week, we have seven days in a week. So we can have five times seven, that is 35 days. Next, days to Hours. We have 24 hours in one day. So 35 times 24, 840 hours. And then we have hours to minutes, that's 60 minutes in an hour. So 840 times 60, 50,400 minutes. So, this is how we convert weeks into minutes. And then, let's convert 72,000 minutes to days. This time, this is smaller unit to larger or longer unit. So, here, we will be using division. Again, we do not have a direct conversion from minutes to days. We need to convert it first into hours before converting it into days. So now, 72,000 minutes and hours, we have 60. So instead of multiplying, we are going to use 60 in division. So 72,000 divided by 60 minutes, 1,200 hours. And then, for hours to days, 24 hours in one day, again, instead of multiplying, we will be using division, 12,000 divided by 24 hours, that will give us 50 days.
So that means we have 50 days in 72,000 minutes. Okay? So that's how we convert time units. Alright, the last measure that we're going to discuss is the measure about temperature. Temperature refers to the hotness or coldness of an object. A thermometer is used to measure temperature. And the most commonly used temperature scales are the Celsius and the Fahrenheit. Of course, Gabriel Fahrenheit invented the Fahrenheit scale such that the freezing point of water is 32 degrees and the boiling point of water is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. While under Celsius developed the Celsius scale in which water freezes at 0 degrees and boils at 100 degrees. So how do we convert temperature units? Here we have the following formula that shows how to convert the temperature scales from one unit to another. Madali lang dahil may formula naman tayong susundan. So the first one, let's convert 40 degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. So here we just need to use the formula to be able to convert this into Fahrenheit. We will be using this or this one. So I prefer to use yung my fraction. So 9 fifths degrees Celsius plus 32 degrees. So you just need to substitute here the given value. So we have 40 degrees. We put it here and then we need to solve. 40 times 9 is 360 divided by 5. That will give us 72 plus 32. That is 104 degrees. So this one will be equal to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, let's convert 185 degrees Fahrenheit to Celsius. So this time, yung formula naman ng degrees Celsius ang ating gagamitin. So as you can see, halos kabaliktaran lang yung formula. Instead na 9 over 5, we'll be using 5 over 9. And then instead of addition, we'll be using subtraction. And then we put here the given. So 185 times 5, that's 925 over 9 minus 32. So this will give us 102.78 minus 32. That is 70.78 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that's how we convert degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit and vice versa. So I hope that you have learned how to convert metric units to one another. Thank you.